Yeah, so the movie uh, Battleship. <laughs> Why is that a movie? Uh, the movie Battleship is a uh, flop. It made $25 million over the weekend. It cost $209 million to make. So... Flop. It did a little better overseas. Uh, it made uh, 215 million dollars overseas, proving that the rest of the world is not quite as smart as we sometimes give them credit for. I guess the battleship features Rihanna uh, in her debut role in a movie. Uh, I don't know why that would be a selling point for anyone, but in case it is, hey man, you guys know Rihanna's in this? Yeah, she is. You can go watch Rihanna, you know? Uh, no. I had to actually remind myself she was a singer, you know, because when I heard, like, Rihanna's in it, I'm like, oh, that girl that got punched. And I realized that's how I know her, as the girl that got punched. I don't think I even knew who she was before she got punched. Come to think of it, I don't think I knew who Chris Brown was before he punched her. So, in terms of my perception, here's a girl who's famous for getting punched and here's a guy who's famous for punching her. America, right? Yeah! Uh, they were famous before that, TJ. They were famous before that. Okay, right, sure, fine, of course. I am so very sorry. So very sorry. I bow to your wisdom. Mmm, mmm, mmm. In more important, but because we're a stupid species, less interesting news, a bunch of cops beat the shit out of a bunch of protesters. Again! This time in Chicago. The protesters were protesting against NATO, which I guess the police are in favor of. You know, I think that maybe the protesters need to take a new tact with the police, you know? You need to have protests that the police can get behind. NATO, no! Donuts, yes! NATO, no! Donuts, yes! The cops will be like, well, he's against NATO, but he's in favor of donuts. Maybe you protesters should show up with donuts to the fucking rallies and give them to the cops, because if the cops are too busy eating fucking sugary treats, they're not going to have time to beat the fuck out of you. Several veterans at the uh, protests in Chicago threw away their medals to demonstrate that, you know, they don't need no fucking medals. We don't need no medals from the system, brah! And, uh, I hope that a homeless guy finds the medals and, you know, polishes them up real good and takes them to the pawn shop and, you know, gets some money for liquor and then I hope the guy that runs the liquor store uses the money to pay for hookers and I hope the hookers use the money to pay for new boobs so they can charge more to their johns, you know? I hope that happens. These soldiers, these veterans, they're doing their civic duty to stimulate the economy. You better believe that. Someone should give them a... Uh, okay. Meanwhile, in the uh, forward-thinking and progressive state of North Carolina, Pastor Charles Worley tells us about all the things that he's again, not against, again. Just watch. Tell you right there, as you're sorry as you can get, the Bible's again it, God's again it, I'm again it, and if you've got any sense, you're again it. I got a ton of shit for mispronouncing the word scythe. So I know that this son of a bitch is going to get a ton of shit for mispronouncing against. How do you go through life without encountering that word and learning how to say it? I had a way, I figured a way out, a way to get rid of all the lesbians and queers. Oh dear. <laughs> I guess his uh, pronunciation probably isn't the worst thing about him after all build a great big large fence, 150 or 100 mile long, put all the lesbians in there, fly over and drop some food. Do the same thing with the queers and the homosexuals. Ah, you conservatives and your fucking fences. Everything's a fence with you. We gotta build us a fence to keep them spicks out. And then we gotta build us another fence to put the quarters in. And have that fence electrified till they can't get out. 
feed them. And, and you know what? In a few years, they'll die out. Do you know why they can't reproduce? They can't even reproduce. Love don't even count if it, unless it's between two people who can reproduce. How you speckin' to love somebody if they can't even reproduce? Sorry, infertile people. Your relationships are a lie, too. Mm-hmm. Hey, I, I tell you right now, somebody said, who you gonna vote for? I ain't gonna vote for a baby killer and a homosexual lover. I'd like to remind everyone at this point that this church has tax-exempt status. Right. Tax-exempt status for this fucking cretin. <laughs> Fuck. Rush Limbaugh, who was just bragging uh, in my last video about how big his ratings are. I think he's compensating for something, just between you and me. Uh, it turns out his ratings are not getting bigger and bigger and bigger. They're getting, well, you know, smaller. The conservative radio host ratings fell 27% in the key 25 to 54 demo in New York City, 31% in Houston Galveston, 40% in Seattle Tacoma, and 35% in Jacksonville, according to a selection of the March 29th through April 25th Arbitron ratings provided by industry sources. Ah, don't sweat it, Rush. Don't think about this as losing your audience and therefore losing advertising revenue even worse than you did when all the advertisers were boycotting you. Don't worry about that. Think of it like this. You're cleansing your audience of those capable of basic reasoning skills. Yeah. And, and those people, they were no use to your movement anyway. Right? You know that. We all know that. You should, you should be happy. You should rejoice. You should be like, yeah! Well, no, that would require you to jump, and I don't think your legs have the power to propel your bovine mass of blubber anywhere off the ground. But inside, you should be going, yeah! Inside. Deep inside. Yeah, I am the Amazing Atheist. Peace. The fuck. You fucking cunts.